when did you know that you were going to get this opportunity this week? And, and were there were there any nerves, or were you just ready to roll? Um, I found out on Monday, um, <clears throat> Monday morning, and uh, well, definitely um, playing in front of you know ninety thousand people is very different compared to uh, my old school. So. Um, yeah, definitely a little nervous, but I knew I had to step up and do my thing. What was it like actually stepping on the field and getting those first snaps in as a player at Nebraska? Um, it's an amazing experience. Um, just running out to the field and like seeing all the fans going insane um, with the lights and everything and just being out on the field. It kind of, at the first play, you know, um, it doesn't really shut everything out. But then, like, once you get into the rhythm, basically, um, you get kind of that tunnel vision. You kind of not see anything but the field. And um, definitely that first play was a little, a little exciting <laughs> because, you know, I just hearing everybody screaming and going crazy about us is uh, something I've never seen before. It wasn't <clears throat> just you making your first start, but Teddy was making his first start at left tackle. Were you guys kind of feeding off each other? What was that like? Um, definitely. There's a, a couple of scenes, I would assume, that uh, the cameras caught us celebrating together because, uh, you know, we've, we've been practicing together for a while because we were uh, the twos uh, together for a while, too. So, um, you know, we've had our connection uh, already. So um, coming to this game, it's just we just kept doing our thing. <coughs> this afternoon, somebody in Germany, did you know? <coughs> that, that was my mom and my stepdad. Mom. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, but you know how many people are back home watching? Um, I know there's a couple. Uh, the problem was it's it was like 2 a.m. there, so uh, you know games like these are kind of hard to watch over there, especially in college. Um, NFL games are more common, but uh, uh, I think two years ago or three years ago was the first college game that was kind of like live without paying. Uh, that was uh, over there, so uh, uh, it's kind of hard to try to find the time to watch games like these. Did you get any reaction from them in your on your phone or anything? Uh, I, I have not looked at my phone okay, yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little, a little scared, not gonna lie. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> what's a, what's allowed you just just generally to get to the point from the, from the time you got back here or came back here to Nebraska to now to become a, a starter? Like, what, what's the one thing you can sort of put your, your finger on that, that's allowed you to get to this point where you're not even starting? Um, my teammates around me. Um, you know, we we have been pushing each other for so long now, especially with last year Corona. Um, we had a lot of time to just you know bond and be a great group together and you know like like I said with me and Teddy we've been pushing each other to a point that you know today has been successful um, but that's the entire line group like that too like everybody feeds off of each other and um, we try to like hype each other up whenever it's possible and uh, you know it doesn't it doesn't just happen with the ones it happens all the way throughout with the two the threes and scout players and whatsoever. How does it feel that not only you get in, but you guys go from the 400 ground? I mean, I know linemen like to push people around and yep. get the run going, but you guys go for 400 yards, man. How does that feel? Um, it's tiring, <laughs> um, but as an offensive lineman, that's the best thing to be able to, to say that you push somebody from point A to B and the guy behind you um, had success. You know, and like like you said, you know, having 400 and, you know, whatever uh, yards on rushing. Um, to be able to say that as an offensive line unit is amazing. What about the offensive line really gelled this week to make that performance possible? Um, from last week, we knew we had to click better together. And uh, we, we knew that we had to step up and you know just be better. And um, I think this week of practice has been the best week. And obviously, we set the bar high. But uh, now it's time to jump over the bar. Do you guys feel like you fixed some of the issues that have been Propping up over the last couple of games. Um, I, I assume you're talking about the false starts, and yep, yep uh, we've we've definitely had our fair share of those. But uh, during practice, it's been a lot better to say that. Um, you know, every everybody does mistakes here and there, but uh, we've hadn't haven't had any problems with that anymore, and we're not going to anymore. Edwards decided to walk on here. I remember you did interviews and you said, "I want to get a scholarship." You really set some big goals for yourself. Did, and yep. along the way, have you ever had any doubts, or has it sort of been a steady, "I'm going to do this"? Um, well, there definitely was some doubts every now and then, but uh, um, with, like I said, with the group around me, uh, it didn't matter if you're a scholarship or a walk-on. You know, everybody hypes each other up to the point where it feels like you're a scholarship player and you're running around with players around you that don't care if you are a walk-on or not. And um, 
like I said, it's just it's it's amazing to be able to say that I've made it from a point where, you know, I came here as as starting off as a lineman from old, from my old school, but like you know, go, going from scout team player to now starting is an amazing long journey with up and downs, but um, yeah. You started games as a, as a true freshman, obviously, at your last school. Can you speak to the challenge that, that Teddy sort of accepted and getting to the point just physically where he's ready to play mm -hmm. in a Big Ten game where he was in, in high school a year ago? Um, well, like you said, with that experience, I had the same kind of scaredness and, you know, the ner nervousity. Trying to say that word right, <laughs> um, but um, I think the good thing for him that helped him a lot was that it was not his like it was not the first game of the season that he kind of had the chance to play a little bit during other games and you know had the chance to experience how you know the stadium feels and how to be around people that you know love the sport as much as you do and um, you know I didn't have that at my old school it was kind of uh, just kind of thrown into the cold water there and I think um, with Teddy it's just kind of a steady way up where um, I don't think he was nervous at all. Like he, he knew he had to step up and you know, do his thing. You mentioned uh, jumping over the bar. Uh, how do you jump over the bar next week at Michigan? Um, well, 500 rushing yards and whatsoever more passing yards. <laughs> I think we had like 650 total yards. I mean, 700 yards are just right there. <laughs> Might as well. You know, uh, you guys, it seemed like Martinez had a lot more time in the pocket this week mm -hmm. than last week. Talk about how that uh, you were able to fix what happened last week where he got sacked a bunch and he was pressured a lot to this week where that really wasn't a factor. Um, like I said earlier to the question, we had to step up and, you know, try to do better and um, show him that we can protect him. And uh, I think today we proved that that is possible. And uh, I don't think he got hit once maybe during the sneak but um other than that that he had a clean jersey and um i'd like to pride myself on that all good